Good morning, Sovereign Grace Church family and any guests that are tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful day we had on Sunday, and today is shaping up to be another beautiful day. So hopefully you'll be able to get outside uh, earlier or later in the day. Um, we're going to be looking at another portrait of Christ this morning, and it, it's very important that we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus during this very difficult time that we are enduring. Uh, not obviously just the, the pandemic that we're going through, but all the uh, social unrest and the, the grievous things that we've seen uh, take place in our country. And it's in times like this that we really need to keep our eyes focused on Jesus, fixed on Jesus. He is the anchor of our soul, and he is our the hope for our country. Um, and that is our true hope, and that's where we want to put our hope, uh, in Jesus. Um, and we want to share the good news with those that need to hear the good news so desperately. Uh, this morning, we're going to be looking at another smaller picture of Christ and these portraits of Christ that we see in the Gospel of Mark. And this is a smaller portrait, but it is filled with beauty. It's Mark chapter 2, and we're going to read verses 13 through 17. He went out again beside the sea, and all the crowd was coming to him. And he was teaching them. And as he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, follow me. And he rose and followed him. And as he reclined at the table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners were reclining with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many who followed him. And the scribes of the Pharisees, when they saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors, said to his disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? And when Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. And in this small picture of Jesus, smaller picture of Jesus, we, we see a couple things. We see that he calls, he calls the unlikely. Uh, in calling Levi, who we also know as Matthew, the, the author of the Gospel of Matthew, he was calling a tax collector. And when I say uh, calling the unlikely, calling Matthew was extremely unlikely. Matthew was unworthy. Uh, Matthew was unpopular. Matthew was a scandalous sinner. Uh, he would have been hated by the people of Israel. He would have been viewed as a traitor as he was collecting taxes for the Romans and often t collecting more than he should have. So this was the, the lowest class. Um, these were people that... Uh, tax collectors were hated in their culture, uh, were very unpopular, uh, and again, were viewed as scandalous sinners, but uh, traitors. Uh, and yet Jesus calls Matthew. Uh, I'm sure this astounded and confounded the disciples that had already been following Jesus, that he would call someone like Matthew. But that's Jesus. He does the unlikely. He calls the unworthy. And, and then we see this vignette he has where he's having dinners with uh, dinner with the tax collectors and sinners, and they are the religious leaders, again, sitting in judgment of him, if they, as they often did, seeing themselves as righteous people who live morally pure lives, who followed all the specifics of the law, but their hearts were really black. Um, and so they call him no count. Why are you eating with these scandalous sinners? And, and then Jesus has these beautiful words that, you know, he came... Uh, not for the righteous, but for the sinners, but and for those who were sick. And, and brothers and sisters, that means he came for us. He came for our sins. And when I think about what we see today, when we look at this world that we're living in right today, uh, this is not a time that it's easy to be casual about sin. We see the havoc that sin calls in the world and causes in the world. And we see what people made in the image of God due to other people made in the image of God. We see people made in the image of God doing these sins that are just so grievous to the heart of God. And that's why Jesus came. He came to call those that were sick. He came to redeem this world that has become so evil, uh, so wicked, um, doing horrible things to just other people. And yet here's what Christ stepped into. Um, to save us, to save those who are sick with sin, to save people like us. Let's pray. God, thank you for these words. It's a, it's a small picture. It's not 
one of the bigger pictures we have uh, in the Gospel of Mark of who you are, but what a beautiful picture that you would call someone like Matthew, uh, Lord, a scandalous sinner, someone who had been unpopular, um, who would have raised eyebrows that you could have called him into your kingdom, but you did. And then, Lord, hear, hear these words, that you came for those that are sick, not those that are well, that you came to save those that were sinners, not those that were righteous, which means you came for people like us. That's good news to our souls. Thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, and have a great day.